So this is what I just saw. I saw the white men, uh, the white men who are over the congregations here in Texas and all over the world. All these so-called white pastors that are ministers and running these congregations. And I'm going to tell you exactly what I saw about the white man on this earth. He said he was sitting over there. Now, I'm not talking about the young one. I'm not talking about the old one. I'm talking about the one that got enough sense uh, that's been on this earth long enough and not suffering from dementia that know what's going on with my case. And i show you what God just showed me about the white man on this planet and what he's trying to do. Because he took my toddler and threatened to rape him and threatened to go through all these people to cover it up including my own family. And I saw him throwing this up. And he was throwing it up. He was throwing it up. And he did it in the Ku Klux Klan manner, but what the Holy Spirit showed me is that he's walking around wearing a damn suit and that he's standing on the earth and he's got a light shining to the 666 over the globe. And there was a virtual uh, reality globe. And over the top part of the, hemis of the hemisphere of the globe, there was a circle and a light that was shining from his hand, 666. And the Holy Spirit showed his eyes as the glare of the virtual reality flared um, around the world to his hand. And it was throwing up 666 and he was smiling. And it was showing that all of the world was not under his power. But that the part under the virtual reality where all of the electricity and televisions and cable and celebrities and movies and internet and things like that is up under his power. And that's where everybody is trying to be, where they have electricity and power and cable and whatever he has in his virtual reality world. But the rest of the world was still under the nighttime darkness but the world right now that's, that doesn't that have the, that does have the lights and the electricity from the white man's kingdom was still shining, and his eyes uh, glared over and showed that he was the devil, that he was Satan, that he was Satan. And his eyes had a uh, light white storm looking eyes and it glared over and showed, I'm the devil. I'm Satan. And he was laughing because he was throwing up 666 and had all of these people up under his power in whatever cities where they have electricity that's provided by him and cable that's provided by him, um, lights and energy that's provided by him. And he knows that they took my baby out here in Texas and threatened to, and threatened to rape him. And all the pastors in Texas, all the ministers in Texas, all the white men know that they threatened to rape my child. And they're all talking about their races up under this order. So now I'm about to have to leave another location because this is today. And the woman is saying she's leaving today. So I'm about to have to leave another location and be out here in Houston where they got my own family sold out to this shit. And all the black men that they got that's helping them to try to abuse me from location to location, picking me up where I should have been in the shelter or in my home or with family. They all serving under this rule, talking about they racist and they serving Satan and they setting me up pregnant and setting my baby up to be molested by the Overas who are in this coven that throws this up. All the celebrities that know that I'm pregnant, Beyonce knows is in the order that throws this up. 
Jay-Z is in the order that throws this up. Drake is in the order that throws this up. Future is in the order that throws this up. T.I. Tiny is in the order that throws this up. Little Mama Kehlani uh, is in the order that throws this up. Ty Dollar Sign, um, all of these people, Madonna, um, these people are in this order that threaten to rape my child. And they throw up 666 and they're pedophiles. And they took my little baby out here in Texas and threatening to make my baby get him oral sex. And the Holy Spirit was showing me that he is the devil. That's why he's throwing that up and he's not a pastor. And I'm tired of throwing it up. My hand hurt. But I wanted to let y'all know what it was that they was doing. Barack is throwing it up. Donald Trump is throwing it up. And then these pastors is out here throwing this up and laughing, knowing they threatened to molest my baby, trying to set me up to be killed outside by myself, still pregnant with the baby they tortured from the jail. And trying to go through the courts that is ran by these racist devils that are pedophiles and say that I can't come get my child from them. So at the end of the day, I'm going to just go ahead and get a picture of the facility where they threatened to bring my son and rape my son with thousands of these white men that's throwing this up. And it's very serious because they'll rape your child and never tell nobody what they did. And they have black people covering for them. They got black women doing witchcraft with them. That's not helping me and letting me have to stay out pregnant on the streets out here while they're trying to murder me because they threatened to molest my son. And all the black people that got millions of dollars and everything going to keep serving them. They don't care about any of us. None of them do. This is a fight for God and black people and his mom. And they trying to murder me. And I want y'all to know that all of these pastors in Texas is involved. They are not real righteous people. None of the white men in this country that's claiming to be pastors are real righteous men. They are devils and they are child molesters and they are Ku Klux Klan members. And they throwing this up behind closed doors. And they know that they threaten to rape my baby out here for protecting myself. So whatever part of the world that is up under the white man territory where they getting benefits from him, they not going to come forward and tell the truth that these white people threaten to rape my baby and that they trying to set me up to be murdered and that I'm pregnant. They're not. They're going to be too busy trying to watch cable and trying to watch Cardi B on the BET Awards. And she knows that they threaten to molest my baby. And she knows that I'm pregnant. And they got them doing rituals on my pregnancy and going and getting pregnant while they abused me and left me with a baby in me that they claim that is going to be dead. And Nicki Minaj is serving under this. All of the black women that came, and it's all the black people in this country at this point. Y'all serving up under him. And he threatening to rape people's children. And I'm not standing for it. And at some point, you're going to have to give me my son back. But see, there are devils. He's the devil. Now I see. So I'm about to get ready um, so that I could leave uh, this hotel. And I'm telling you my situation. I'm going to be outside. My phone is going to be cut off at some point. I don't have any family to help me that cares about me. They rather serve the racist white people that threaten to rape my baby. That's what my family rather do. So that's out of the question. I don't have family at this point when you will let white people threaten my baby and keep on going on with your life. And they try to set me up to be murdered in Atlanta as well. And then you still want to keep going on with your life trying to create this perfect picture in this white man's kingdom that threatened to rape my little boy. So I don't have family. And I'm going to be in Houston, Texas, where they have my child in Magnolia, Texas. I'm going to be in Houston, Texas, and I'm going to be trying to figure out how I can get my son or how I can find somebody that's not afraid of them. And I'm going to be contacting everybody all over the world. My phone is about to be off. And I don't have money to get on the bus. I don't have money for food, pregnant. I don't have anything. Only thing that I have is the sure promise that they're out here trying to set me up already. The Mexicans and the white women are out here, all of these white women, threatening to rape my baby. In Texas. 
and they're leaving me outside. They stole my identification. They stole my social. They stole my debit cards, and they are leaving me, a black woman pregnant in Houston, Texas, threatening to rape my baby and are leaving me outside in America trying to set me up to be murdered up under this racist order. And they've been doing it. Keisha Lance Bottoms is in it. Because she let them try to murder me in Atlanta when I came to Atlanta for help and told them that these people took my baby and threatened to rape my baby and the entire country already knew when I shot Austin in the leg that they took my baby and threatened to rape my baby and then let me out with a baby in me and kept my baby. And they love to try to paint a black woman out as crazy or mental when they done took your child and threatened to rape your child. And they try to have all the other black people talking about you saying you was crazy while they sit there and kill you and threaten to rape your child. And all the black people are scared of them and serving them or trying to be just like them. And they doing witchcraft trying to be like them. They molesting people's kids trying to be like them. And they setting pregnant black women up to be murdered trying to be like them. And I don't have any respect for uh, the hip hop industry. I do music. So I know you didn't have to sell your soul. And I know you didn't have to stand for nobody child being molested and their mother being killed. So all these organizations in America, I pray that God shut you down. And I pray that God destroy everybody that owns an organization claiming that you help black women and children in this country. I pray God destroy you right along with this devil. Because y'all know that they threatened to rape my baby and y'all wouldn't help me and my son. Everybody that's claiming to be donating money to somebody for something, I curse you in the name of Jesus because none of y'all donated anything to me and my son. Then they threatened to rape him. All these black women that's sitting up in your houses thinking you're going to live good in the United States while they murder me, pregnant, and threaten to rape my baby. I pray you have to burn in hell right along with this devil. Everybody in your courtroom that said that this woman that threatened to rape my baby with these racist white men could have my baby. I pray that God send you to hell sooner than you think. And I pray that God raise up an army of people that can fight y'all. If y'all going to go and kill us and be racist and rape my son, then that's just what it is. But if God is going to let us rise up in this country and fight y'all back, I pray God raise up people that's not afraid to fight y'all because every white man in this country is being racist because I shot Austin throwing up 666 and threatening to rape my baby. And because I'm black, I'm supposed to go out in, in weakness. I'm supposed to let you just murder me and rape my son in weakness. Or is there a power in Jesus Christ beyond this symbol that can actually fight you and destroy you for what it is that you're trying to do over here? And the military is serving them. All of the police in America is serving up under this order that rapes black children, that uh, black women that protect themselves. All of the firefighters, all of the ambulances, all of the judges, all of the doctors and nurses. All of the health care providers for children. Everybody is serving up under this 666 racist order to serve the devil. So at what point do I not have a right to fight for my child? Because I'm black and I won't worship Satan with y'all. And I won't stop telling that you threatened to molest my son. And took my home. Austin is serving up under 666 and threatened to molest my son and came in my home attacking me straight out of prison, was with racist gangs serving this order in 666 and came in my home attacking me and my son and threatened to molest my baby while I was in jail for protecting myself with all of these men in Texas and with Cynthia and then going through a racist judge. They're trying to start a race war. Because they threatened to molest my son. And they trying to let all my family sit there and watch me be killed. For fighting them by myself. And they know they threatened to molest my baby. And God knows that they threatened to molest my baby. Which is why he showed me that these white men are the devil. All of them that's in these jails. And all of them that's sitting up there on the pulpit.
And see, they don't learn until you hurt one of them. When you hurt them, that's when the devil and racist people finally get it. When you hurt them, then you show them the power of God. When you say, no, you wicked white man, I'm going to make you bleed for saying you're going to stick your dick in my baby mouth. I'm going to make y'all bleed for it. And they know I'm out here by myself with no money and I don't have a way to make them bleed for it. Because you're trying to set me up to be murdered with the entire country and threaten to rape my son and I got a right to make you bleed. If that's how you're going to take me out and kill me and threaten to rape my child and kill me with a baby in my body that y'all all done tortured under some 666 order, I got the right to go out swinging. Not being set up by my own damn family outside on the streets of Houston by all the black people in the fucking country that knew they threatened to rape my baby. I don't have to go out like that pregnant, being killed pregnant by racist people and by my own people. And that take a lot of courage to say, oh, it's going to be a change. I'm not going to let the military bully me and they threaten to rape my child. You're not going to go get the military to try to bully me. They are devils. The entire United States military is pedophiles and rapists. And all of the Texas Police Department is as well. And all the firefighters and the doctors and the nurses. So what are we living under? We're just living under people that's been bullying us. And took my son and threatened to bully my son. And then you don't want no repercussions. You don't want nobody to hurt you about taking their children and threatening to molest their kids. You don't want nobody to hurt you. You want to sit over there and gang up on a pregnant black woman by herself. But you don't want nobody to come and beat your ass and make you stop. And I'm just one woman. So it's going to take a lot more force for me to be able to fight them. And I'm going to need weapons. And I'm still not going to make it out. And they threatened to rape my son out here. And they got me trying to fight all of them by myself in a war. Because that's something that I got the right to go to war with you about. Because Patty Maginus and Inger Chandler and J Tracy Gilbert and the Conroe Police and Cynthia Overe and Austin John Meadow and Joseph Overe took my baby up under this racist order and threatened to rape my child. And at that point, the law don't exist. I got the point to come and get them by force. And that means I got the right to hurt anybody that you have trying to hurt me when I come to get them because of my bloodline, because I'm black. And I sever all ties from your kingdom in the name of Jesus. I don't have no more ties to America. My ties is to African-American people, and I will die about it and make sure that while I'm on this soil, that people from your bloodline do not touch me. My name is Queen Andrea Antoinette Jones, and I am here to rescue Melbourne Halo Matter from y'all. And as long as I don't have the fortitude to fight y'all back from harming me and this baby that I'm pregnant with, I won't come on your premises. But I'm going to be trying to get black men of my bloodline that will fight with me to come to your home. Or go to whatever courthouse and we're going to have to fight against the whites that's helping you. We're going to have to fight against whatever whites in the military that's helping you. We're going to have to fight against whatever police is helping you. We're going to have to fight against whatever gang members. We will have to fight the entire state of Texas. And it's going to be a war where they're trying to murder a pregnant black woman by myself and threaten to murder my child. And once I have to pick up another gun again, there is no turning back. So I'm going to call CPS. And I'm going to ask that God send some people that got some sense that know that when you threaten to rape somebody's child, that is a situation where you can end up hurt or you can end up dead as the perpetrator. So you cannot go and get a restraining order asking for protection when you threaten to rape my my son. You do not have protection. And they got Houston police trying to murder me. They got Conroe police trying to murder me and Magnolia police trying to murder me about trying to get my son from her. They bullying me and my son and threaten to rape my son over there and they bullying me and won't give him back. And then trying to make me out to be a terrorist when I said I was just going to come and see if he was alive, telling me that they're going to try to arrest me from his property. So I already know that I need to be trying to get some people here and just tell them that they threatened to kill my son and rape my son and everybody is setting me up outside. 
And that's just going to be the message that I'm going to be sending all over the world. And if I keep on telling people and keep on telling people that's not helping and they keep trying to set me up outside, then I know I'm going to have to go to war with y'all. And I know I'm going to have to do it with Jesus Christ. And I know that I'm going to have to die. And I know that I'm going to be tortured. And I know they're going to try to arrest me before I can fight y'all. But I'm going to have to fight you because you threatened to rape my baby. And I ain't never seen my son again because Austin was attacking me and my son. And I'm pregnant with a baby in me. And y'all still trying to set me up to be murdered. And I'm going to fight you. And I already done shot Austin in self-defense. And after everything y'all done did to me, I should have been nutted up. But I done kept my calm. And if I am forced to use violence to protect myself in Houston, Texas and my child again, I'm not going in another jail cell where they could try to torture me as a war prisoner for protecting myself and then having me raped and threatening to rape my child. So y'all want to be up cursed? I break the curse of slavery. I break the curse of everything that any black, white man that ever did to any black person in this country or in this world to make black people feel like we got to be afraid of you, to make black people feel like we got to let you rape our kids, to let black people feel like you can go through a racist police department and threaten to rape my child and then turn around and say, you're going to arrest me for coming to see my baby. You took my baby as a sex slave. You took my baby as a slave. You took my little mulatto baby boy as a slave and you threatened to make him rape, uh, to, to molest, you threatened to molest my baby over there and, and take him as a slave because his mother was African and Indian and that you hated black women and that you was going to let my baby, um, that you was going to molest my baby. And then you're trying to bully me with a police department. You're trying to bully me with a judge. You're trying to bully me and threaten to kill me as an Indian woman who child you stole, as an African woman who child you stole and threaten to, uh, that you were so high and mighty to where you could molest my baby in luxury and that I was a poor black woman, and that, but I'm a savage. I'm a savage enough for you to threaten to call the same police department that you threatened to sodomize and rape my baby with to come down to your house and guard your house and try to murder me pregnant outside your house for demanding that you return my blood. Cast down slavery. That little boy is African and Indian. That's my blood. And you don't like my people. You threatened to rape my people. You took my baby and threatened to rape my baby. And you're bullying me as an African Indian woman. I'm going to come over there. And I'm going to give you the war that you, that you want. And you're not going to have Houston police murder me. That's not what I'm here for. I'm here for my son. You're not going to have nobody murder me because you threatened to rape my child and you're going through the course in the police department and black people and all these Mexicans to try to help you get away with it. You're not going to murder me before I can get to see my son's body. You're not going to murder me before I can see that my son is alive. You're not going to murder me before I can question my child and find out what all y'all have did to my little boy at that location and anywhere else where you brought him. So my name is Andrea Antoinette Jones, and I'm going to have to go to war with the whites about my son. They threatened to rape him, and they got black people helping him, Mexicans, everybody helping him. They got Judge Patty Maginus helping them. They got Judge Tracy Gilbert helping them. They got all these fucking racist-ass people that were supposed to be in a position of power to help women and children over here setting my little boy up to be molested. Because I'm African and Indian and I shot a white man in America. And they want me dead so bad that they threaten to rape my baby and then try to make me fight them as retaliation so they can kill me while I'm trying to get my child. And I ain't did nothing but be in the house with my baby. Being attacked. And I know they racist. And I'm going to tell you white women right now, I curse you in the name of Jesus. All the white women in America, I curse you in the name of Jesus. I curse your lineage in the name of Jesus. I curse the lineage of your children's children to death and hellfire because y'all took my son and threatened to rape him and out here trying to fight me by myself, African and Indian pregnant. Because I'm going to fight your white ass too. The moment that y'all run up on me, I'm going to fight you. And being that I'm not the type of violent person to fight nobody, the last time a motherfucker ran up on me, I shot him. So the fact that you trying to talk about you got a restraining order of police to try to run up and kill me, I'm going to fight y'all. And they know that I'm pregnant. 
And they got guns and I don't have any. And when you threaten to rape somebody, child, and you got a gun and you got a taser and you got a little baton and you got gangs of people to help, that's not a fair fight. You're ganging up on somebody. And a man attacking a pregnant woman is not a fair fight. A man attacking a pregnant woman with her small child is not a fair fight. And everybody trying to cover it up because he's white and he threatened to rape my son. And he needs to face me about threatening having a baby with having a baby with me, attacking me at my house, and then threatening to rape our baby while I was in that jail and think he gonna have all these racist people setting me up to be killed with my own damn people. And he think that's going to be Andrea last breath is getting killed about me threatening to rape her baby with these people and her not being able to fight back because she was all by herself and her family and her people didn't give a fuck about her or our son. That's all right because at least I know Jehovah with me. Yeah, I'm going to fight them. So um, this is a news flash. They're trying. They're about to murder a pregnant African American woman in Houston, Texas, because they threatened to rape my baby, and they're leaving me outside with no choice but to have to fight them by myself, pregnant. And they're the ones trying to do the aggressive stuff to me because they threatened to rape my baby, took my baby, uh, murdered a baby in my stomach that I'm pregnant with because the baby is still alive and kicking, but I've been carrying for 36 months and it's not going to survive. It's not going to survive with the way that I have been smoking these cigarettes and been abused. The baby not going to make it. So it, it, it is the most powerful moment in your life when you being killed by a gang of racist pedophiles and police. And you know that they beating you like they did Jesus, that they crucifying you like they did Jesus, that they're beating on you and threatening to rape your baby, that they came in your home attacking you in your home and stole your child and threatened to rape your baby. And then they over there torturing me and trying to murder me. That's OK. Because I can't stand to be in this world with y'all no more. I can't stand to be uh, in a world with nasty ass black women and nasty ass black men that's going to sit there and go live your life while they threaten to rape my baby at Cynthia's home and at, at the police department. So it's okay letting them shoot me. It's okay letting them tase me. It's okay letting them beat me, burn me, uh, shoot me up with bullets, whatever they wanted to do. Because at least I don't have to live another day knowing that y'all threatened to rape my child. And I know it's one day closer to God judging this earth. And I know that all y'all need to go to hell. All the black women that's still trying to take pictures and go kiss up to these people in these clubs, all of y'all can go to hell, bro. And they bullying me and they trying to make me fight them by myself so I can be killed. That's what they trying to make me do. They threaten to put all these male's penises in my son's mouth out here in Texas and then going through a court so she could try to have a reason to kill me because I shot Austin in self-defense. They dropped the charges because I was protecting myself, but she kept my son for ransom from me to try to set me up to be murdered for trying to get my son. And they threatened to kill my son and they over here about to murder me and I have not seen my baby. And Cynthia came in my home and she threatened to rape my baby and she trying to hide. And I ought to make you pay for threatening to rape him while you over there talking about you got a fucking restraining order against me. And she got all these black women threatening to, so they scared. You ought to be scared. Because I said I was just going to come over there and see if my son was all right. But the fact that she threatened to rape my son, I should come over there and beat her ass. Yeah, and the police know it because they know she threatened to rape my baby. So I should come over there and beat her ass. And they're not going to let me do it. And they know that she threatened to rape my son. But the white man can go and pretend to be a hero while he raping his own kids on television. Like he can go and shoot up everybody and kill everybody that even think about touching his little white daughter. But you're going to take my little boy and threaten to rape my baby. And then, God, they over here shitting on you, God. Doing this to me in front of the entire country and threatening to sodomize my child. And I've been telling everybody who know me, I told my whole family, all my friends, I told I had a hundred thousand views on all ten of these channels, and everybody is child molesters. Nobody care about my son. Sitting over here making me have to run up and go crazy and run to this woman's house knowing that you done already called the police threatening to have them murder me for coming and have me killed outside of her home.
or before I get there. And now I'm finna be outside on the damn streets today. And I came here because God said to come see about my baby. And I'm taking that journey to her house. I'm walking the 50 miles to get to her home. I'm getting on the bus as far as I can make it. And I'm coming. Because I can't take no more being set up with my baby in my body. And you threatening to rape my son. I'm calling CPS. And I'm going to tell them that you did the witchcraft threatening to rape my son. And they're going to try to say that they can't find proof of it. Because they're already involved to try to help her cover it up. And then I got to walk all the way to her address where she got these same police waiting that lied of that, about the evidence that Austin was abusing me. And they said they was going to rape my baby in the Montgomery County Jail with Austin, Cynthia, and Joseph. She got these same police that tried to kill this baby and my body in the jail waiting because this was a trap. Keep my baby so I'll have to come back and so they'll set it up to make it look like I was a terrorist so they can murder me and they was attacking me and my baby in my home. It took my little boy. They stole my baby and threatened to rape him and they going through Tracy Gilbert. He is a murderer. Tracy Gilbert, you are a pedophile and you are a murderer. You took my baby and gave my baby to that lady that threatened to rape my baby and you trying to set me up to be murdered for trying to go and get him and you didn't have no right. And I need to call 911. Oh, Tracy, I need to call 911 and report him that he is involved in child sex trafficking. I need to report my sisters. I need to report my father. I need to report everybody to have information. And the fact is, is who am I going to report it to? Because they have HPD involved, being racist, trying to help. And when you're dealing with stuff like this, they try to say that you're a terrorist.